almost any developed theory in this sphere. We use some of its methods and tools in our practice to make easy and available our work. Especially, we uh, will introduce you today digital projects and tools that are applied in experience with old Armenian, their possibilities and lacks according to our experiments working as philologists or Armenian researchers in the Matinadaran. We should keep in mind one more important circumstance. The Armenian philology is being developed not only in Armenian, but as well in many scientific centers all over the world. In difference with Armenian centers, many other scientific centers work in digital humanities area with some achievements. So we distinguish these two parts in our work, emphasizing situation in Armenia. At first, we won't briefly introduce all the Armenian. Old Armenian or Gra part was officially accepted in the fifth, uh, fifth century, uh, was officially used in fifth to twelfth centuries, in spite of that there have been written and printed many books and works in old Armenian till the 19th century. Since the fifth century, many valuable historical, theological, philosophic, grammatical works have been created and translated from Greek, Syrian, uh, majority of them are important sources, both for Armenians and neighboring nations, as well uh, for superpowers of that period. For using these sources, historian uh, scholars, art historians uh, need profound knowledge of old Armenian. This is relevant for both types of specialists in Armenia and abroad. For Armenology, one of the main sources are manuscripts. The most of them are in old Armenia. Um, all, uh, almost Armenian manuscripts in Matinadan are written in old Armenian. Uh, for every researcher of manuscripts, it is necessary to have profound knowledge in Old Armenian. Uh, there aren't Old Armenian classes in the schools of Armenian, except some schools where it is optional. Old Armenian is taught in universities only. Um, so, do digital technologies meet the requirements of these groups in learning Old Armenian and working with Old Armenian texts? Do they make easy various researches in Old Armenian? Internet and digital world give us great opportunities. There are many books rep represented in many formats, such as PDF, yearbook in Armenian and foreign webs and repositories. In this respect, uh, is especially great the role of a fundamental scientific library of National Academy of Science. Uh, and National Library of Armenia. They have created webs and repositories. However, these repositories give us opportunities to have only digital example of any book written in Old Armenia. Their aim wasn't to make database and tools for working with them. The first example of that type database and digital libraries was Digilib AM Web. From 1999, a group of specialists, researchers at the National Academy of Science in Martin Adaran started the dig digitization works and developed a database from preserving the Armenian cultural heritage. Uh, so this project came into existence. The library raised funds to digitize the classical Armenian literature from 5th to 19th centuries. As it declares in the aims of web, uh, this uh, project has been established as a platform for the collection, preservation and presentation of the worldwide audience, some of the enormous cultural wealth contained in the rich holdings of the Armenian national repositories all over the world. One of the uh, peculiarities of web is that text access with some processing that enable to take the layout of printed page from database and make searches. Uh, there is a tool connected with all the Armenian dictionaries that also have been accessed in database. Here the text. Uh, that we can copy it and uh, here um, connection with a dictionary. Uh, this project also has opportunity of making researches, but it's of value for one word searchings, but not for word combinations. Because in the second case, it brings as a huge number of texts, not only where are that combination, but also where are words of combination separately. Also, it has an opportunity of making thematic search in it. We can't find the word, for example, only in hist historiography. On the other hand, the project doesn't present all Armenian literature heritage that both beforehand was declared. In his goals, as one of the main challenges 
uh, of site. Certainly, it still works, and now when the game becomes rich with new materials. But it is obvious retardation compared with his primary aims and energy. With its aims and challenges, it must be on the first place, but actually it, it isn't. The second project that I want to talk about is Nairi. It's the largest library of electronic Armenian dictionaries. The site has its roots as a Western Armenian dictionary with integrated spell checker, word stammer, and a virtual, key a virtual keyboard. Over the years, the site has grown to incorporate Eastern Armenian as well as bilingual Armenian dictionaries, and now it uh, contains uh, more than uh, 18,000 main words, 95 dictionaries. Practically, it is the most using database in Armenian languages. Eight of 95 dictionaries are in Old Armenian. Web has a user-friendly interface, specially designed structure, gives the program a chance to make a global search without indicating any dictionary, as well as look for a word only in one chosen dictionary. The next uh, project is Grappar AM. Website is created in uh, 2013 as one of main in, uh, 2013. It has the aim of making uh, classic Armenian uh, accessible to everyone through video tutorials, handouts, and many other tools contained on the website. Through this website, creators have trip to help audience to explore more about the language of ancestors and to find out for themselves that Grappar or Old Armenian is not a complicated, but rather rich and beautiful language, which rather than being used only by the church today, also enriches the two branches of our language, Eastern and Western Armenian. This website has ed educational and training goals. As dictionary, it connects with NIDICOM, and as a reading material, gives old Armenian texts, taking them from the University of Texas at Austin Linguistics Research Center's website. One of useful projects for linguistics in recent years has been Eastern Armenian National Corpus, but as name testifies, it's for one part of contemporary Armenia. But its structure and aims can help us for making such database with tools. Anyway, the immediate objective of this project is to help linguists find and explore sentences um, in texts that meet specific search criteria. Uh, Eastern Armenian National Corpus allows searching for word forms and lexemes, part of speech categories, morphological attributes, and inflection types, punctuation, contextual queries, and collections. These are the main projects of Armenology in the Armenian. For those beyond of Armenia, we must remember all the Armenian text data was created by departure of comparative linguistics at Leiden University. A program has been developed for collecting computer readable classical Armenian text, analyzing them morphologically and comparison where possible with their Greek originals. And one more program is the Jerusalem Armenian database, a collection of texts in classical and medieval Armenian. Most of these uh, texts were entered through the joint Leiden Jerusalem Armenian database project. Uh, the Leiden Armenian database contains most of these texts and a substantial number of additional ones. But these two projects haven't opened access for working with Leiden databases texts. Uh, you must pay. Thus, here are the main projects and resources in the digital world that introduce Old Armenian texts and facilitate problems of researchers working with Old Armenian texts. They aren't perfect, but they can provide a path forward to more useful tools. Also, as linguists working with Old Armenian manuscripts, we want to outline some questions that we face and try to solve in our daily practice and which could be solved with digital tools easier and more quickly. We researched and described all the medieval Armenian manuscripts for cataloging them in the project of General Catalog of Armenian Manuscripts of the Mashdot Matenadara. Description includes detailed scrutiny of manuscripts, both its external state uh, condition and contents with colophons and, and many other notes. First of all, we count pages to ascertain if all pages have been preserved of manuscripts. We must find out and notice those pages that have been lost and we must read what pages are that. Sometimes it's very difficult. We try different methods, one of which is finding a printed book of that contest, clear out what part is missing in the manuscript, then we count how many words or letters there are in one page of book and manuscript, determine its proportion. With all these data, we attempt to know how many pages are absent. Uh, 
We think that this method and process can be more effective doing by digital tools, not by researcher. Uh, the second, it's um, well known that besides complete manuscripts, there are a significant number of fragments which constitute arguments of manuscript that used to exist once but have failed to reach us or reach separately from that page. It can take a lot of effort to restore potential data or the main manuscript. More often, it's impossible. But if we can't do this, we must determine its content. Sometimes it's very difficult, it takes weeks, even months, but with some uh, thematic database, it will be solved, we think. Then with accessing colophons to special, specific database with some tools, we can analyze the lexicon of any scriber and a certain manuscript scriber without his name. Also, we can do different linguistic researchers with such database and special tools. These are several questions we face every day, but there are hundreds of them. And we think that contact with uh, experienced researchers in the realm give us opportunity for making our researchers more perspective with new ideas and concepts that will facilitate not only Armenian, but also for many other scholars, researchers. Thank you. Okay, questions? We have some experts on our medium sitting back there, so. <laughs> I think this is a classic example of a language of, of immense cultural importance that is much less known than that importance deserves. That's not very clear English. More people should be working with Armenian at all levels and it's been the case, and I think our, my hope is that we'll be, we will be able to increase that number and increase the role that classical Armenian, that Armenian, all, all forms of Armenian are able to play. And we think we have a, a big way to pass, uh, and uh, we will pass it with these projects as um, participating in uh, that projects uh, because uh, now I have uh, many ideas that I will um, take with me to Armenian and we uh, maybe do something in our country for with open access for all researchers from all over the world. Thank you very much. <laughs>